Are you having issues with your RGI? Maybe you just did a Windows update and then all of a sudden your game starts crashing, it's running slow, buttons on the command center stop working. This is how you fix it. Now, before we begin, we are shooting using the Honor X5 Plus. I see that I have the box right here. I'm using the rear facing camera. Everything is on auto using the default setting 1080p 30 FPS. And this is essentially a camera test for that phone. So let's go through the steps of how you fix it. Now, I just did a Windows update and this happened several times. So I'm guessing this issue happens a lot. And as you can see, the operating mode is stuck on silent, even though I have the unit plugged in. Okay, actually when I unplugged it, it automatically switched to turbo, but yeah. So I also had some issues wherein the resolution button stopped working, although it's working right now, and also the refresh rate is not working. So to fix it, um, you, let me just give you the short answer. You just need to go to the RG Ally product support page and make sure that the relevant drivers are updated. And this would basically make sure that all the drivers that your device is using is what it should be running. Because essentially this is a Windows machine and ASUS or ROG build custom drivers to make these control panels and the the um, the gamepad this this gamepad work. So this is what that is what interfaces with your hardware and with the operating system and Windows update can mess that up. So this is the long answer to that question. Basically you go to the my Asus app and you look at all the you know the system updates and you can see that you have essentials and latest. And what this basically does is that it checks that it has the latest drivers installed. Now, you can also do that. You can also do a system diagnosis. Where is that? Yeah. You go here, one quick diagnosis. Or, or you can also, there's another uh, diagnostic here, which I'm not seeing right now. Mm, there so yeah this it triggers this diagnostic page and it will give you more detail and it'll try to identify the drivers that are that were overwritten uh, and for unfortunately for in this instance it, it, it can be difficult to uh to diagnose i mean you're lucky if it detects the issue but in this case I ran the diagnostic earlier and it didn't uh, detect that there was an issue with this command center. So if you look at, um, yeah, so there are, like I said, there are several drivers that ASUS uses and one of them is this one, ASUS system control interface. Okay. And that is specifically what we're trying, we're going to try to update and hopefully this works, but if it doesn't, well, you just have to make sure, like I said, at the beginning of this video, you just have to make sure that all the drivers are updated. And if you have issues with your, um, with DirectX or with your graphics or with your games running slow, this is what you're going to want to fix. Uh, this is what you're going to want to download and update the AMD graphics driver. So it's, there's some manual steps involved and that's kind of part of the challenge with the RG Ally because not it it's not very user friendly. You have to be somewhat technical in order to diagnose the problem. So you, you see there are net networking chipset, audio, but usually for graphics related issues, the graphics server will fix it. And I'm guessing, like I said, I'm just guessing because I haven't, um, I haven't encountered this issue before. I'm guessing that the ASUS system control interface is gonna driver is gonna fix our issue right now so i just downloaded the the i just downloaded the latest driver 9 11. Mm. interesting date okay and we're gonna install that okay 
okay we might have to restart the existing version of ASCII driver in your device the latest version the installation progress will be finished okay let's see nope not working still not working we might have to restart our system okay system diagnostic is almost finished and it has two suggestions one is wi-fi related the other is the device driver and you will see that there is a button okay it just takes us to the serious smart amp driver so what i'm gonna do right now is i'm gonna restart because we already just updated the system control interface drivers hopefully that fixes our issue with the command center okay let's just wait for it to restart And by the way, we are shooting this using just the phone. We're not using any mics. I was tempted earlier to use a boom in order to have better, more isolated sound. But in the spirit of doing a camera test, we also have to test the mic of the, of the phone as well. So I just opted with the internal mic on the Honor X5 Plus. Okay, so we have our game library, we have our command center, and okay, see? Finally, operating mode is switching as it should. So that is how it is did the pro life this if you have similar it was you know guys know in the comments um did this help uh, would be great if you could support our channel give us a thumbs up and subscribe see you later bye